Big 12 Football Media Days presented by BladeHQ.com. BladeHQ.com, the best knives made by the best knife makers. Uh, as Coach Leipold goes by, Blake Shapin joins us. Um, so anybody talking about you lately? Anybody, you know, like it seems like you are a huge conversation point for for Baylor fans. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much. I don't I don't listen to too much, but yeah, I mean, just just I'm here, so you're. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to answer it. <laughs> Do you? It, you know, you're you're an interesting cat though, because obviously with the red shirt year, you're 22. You're you're not you know you're not the 19 year old kid that's trying to find his way. Right. I think you're somebody that brings leadership. You bring maturity. What is your in your opinion from your perspective? What is your value to Baylor football? Uh, I think, like you said, I've I have a little bit of experience under my belt. Um, you know, I've been in you know now a good bit of college football games and played in them and started in them. So, you know, I think I I know what it's like to to play in big time you know places and things like that. And so. You know, just be able to help the guys around me, be able to, you know, try to tell them what it's like and different experiences that they might experience if they're a young guy. And so just to be able to be there as a teammate for these guys and, and to to wear my experience off a little bit on those guys has been has definitely been a thing. So last year clearly was not the year that you guys as a program wanted. But what do you take from that? What did you learn last year? What were the growth opportunities last year? I'd say just unifying as a team. Um, I think last year. You know, our culture probably wasn't exactly where we wanted it. And so now just being able to to step that part of our, our game up as a team uh, has been a big emphasis in the offseason. So being able to to hold guys to higher standards, being able to to be the guy that steps up and say, hey, that we need to do this better. And and I think that's something that not only have I grown in, but a lot of my other teammates have done the same thing. And I think everybody wants the same thing. They have the same goal and we're all aligned and. And that's how it should be. And I think we might have missed that a little bit last year. Mm. So uh, it's been it's been good. So not insignificant, though, like that when you talk about culture and I know it's a word that everybody throws out. But when you talk about culture and relationships and chemistry, that stuff really matters. And you sure. guys, especially on your offensive line, you bring in Clark and Campbell Barrington from BYU, who we know very well. Um, you have a guy in Grimes that obviously he's somebody that knows how to develop guys. He is an offensive line guy. Like, do you feel like your guys up front? Is there continuity? Is there chemistry up there? Yeah, there is. Um, every day when I walk in for breakfast, those guys are sitting together. I mean, I don't there's not a time that I'm walking around the facility that, you know, there's not a group of two or three of them together. And so I see that the, the relationships they're building with each other and I see how hard they work each and every day. Um, and it's pretty amazing to watch because, you know, Clark and Campbell, they've added a, a huge piece to, to the offensive line and experience. And for Clark to be able to come in and lead and, and you know, like I said earlier, having experience and things like that has been huge. But not also just on the field, but off the field, being able to help these guys each and every day to, to achieve the goals that they want to achieve. On the field, as a quarterback, how does that impact you? Uh, it gives me confidence knowing that those guys up front, you know, they know what's going on and things like that. And and Clark, like I said, brings that piece. And, and I'm excited to see what they can do. It's been fun, you know, growing with them, you know, going to workouts every day with them, um, just seeing how they move. It's pretty it's pretty awesome. And I'm excited to see what we can do this year. Do you think much about the defense? Because that's what you have a lot of change on defense. I don't think right. anybody denies that. Right. As a quarterback, how do you compartmentalize that? How do you turn that off and just worry about what you need to worry about? Um, at the end of the day, we're a team. So we're all worried about, you know, each other. And at the end of the day, when we get on the field, we all have to worry about our jobs. But, you know, when we're going through workouts and things like that. We can we can help that offensive guys can help defensive guys and hold them to a higher standard and things like that. But when we get on the field, it's a different story. And like you said, so for us to be able to just focus on what we got to do individually on each side of the ball means everything. And yeah, we're new, but we're working hard each and every day. And are you, as we visit with Blake Shapin from uh, Baylor on the Monty Show, thanks to our friends at BladeHQ.com, are you, how much ceiling do you have left? Because you're a guy who I, when I look at your tape, I see a guy who's got, you, there's a lot more yards there. Like yeah. I view you as a 300, 300 yards a game every week. Like mm -hmm. I, I think that's there. Do you think that's there? And does your offense give you the opportunity to grow into that guy? Yeah, I definitely think so. Coach Grimes, he's, very you know very smart he knows a lot about football 
he knows how to put us in good situations to go into the game and, and be ready to execute. So I definitely feel like, yes, I have that in the tank and, and I feel like we have the coaches um, to make that happen too. And so, you know, my job is to go each and every, each and every week um, as a mindset uh, to just be the best that I can be. And, you know, it's not about throwing for 300 yards a game for me. It's about winning football games, and that, that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> Look at you. That's a great answer. Yes, and before I let you go, uh, TJ Franklin and Gabe Hall are massive human beings. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, they are. Speaking about your, you know, talking about your defense, I, I obviously those two guys are two guys that jump off the sheet. But when you look at them and you look at the tests that they give to your your offensive line, I mean, yeah, those are two pretty good defensive ends, right? There. Oh, no doubt. You know, when you have those two guys. Um, on your football team, it, it's pretty special. It's pretty awesome to watch them, too. Um, they give our O-line, you know, a run for the money every day, and, and they show up each and every day and test them each and every day. And so, you know, it's only going to help us be better as a unit, as a team. And, you know, our O-line guys look at it as a challenge, too, facing those guys. And, and they, they do a good job of handling them in practice, and but they also do a good job on the defensive side of the ball, too. So be able to have two guys like that um, – just makes us better as a, as a whole. So are you more of a shoe guy or a sock guy? Cause your sock game is pretty <laughs> strong, dude. No, I actually, I actually just walked in the other day and there was only a couple pairs on the rack. So I was like, you know what? I'll go with the baby blue and, <laughs> and the, and the pink pig. So that's what I did. That's awesome. Blake, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> yes, I appreciate you coming by. You yes, there you go. Stay healthy. Blake Shapin, uh, Baylor football quarterback. And <clears throat> again, another really good conversation. Like, if you do not understand the, the importance of an offensive line to a quarterback, I think what he talked about walking in every day for breakfast and seeing two or three of his offensive linemen having breakfast together, walking around the facility, talking to each other, hanging out with each other, man, that chemistry with offensive lines I think is massively important. And I, I think that's why when he talks about them eating breakfast together, man, I think that is huge. 